I've, I've seen a number of people say that the GMIC filters are intimidating because there are so many options and it's hard to know where to start. So I'm going to show you a technique that I use when I want to play around with some of the different filters. First of all, the ones you're likely to use are artistic and black and white for the kind of work that I'm talking about, which is digital art. There are lots of different filters. So the trick here is to go over and change the in-place default, that second one down, to new layers. And every filter I try is going to take the same basic picture and turn it into a new layer. So if I go to Cartoon, and I click on Apply, it'll create a new layer of the entire image. Now I'm still working on the same original image. Now if I go to Felt Pen and click on it, it'll create a new layer. Uh, some of these take a lot of time, so I picked a number of interesting ones and, and created them ahead of time. And you can see in the names what some of them are. Cartoon, Ligex, Painting, Painting, Tetris Effect. And one by one, you can sort of look and see what impact does that have on your image. And so you can try out, see what you like, um, at least as a starting point. I like that dream smoothing, although it's very slow. And here's some of the black and white ones I use sometimes. But even having done that, there's further that you can do with the, these same filters, which is you can you can uh, merge two layers in different ways. Um, I sometimes take a black and white one, like the sketch, and the dream smoothing, which I like. And then I'm just going to do a simple overlay. Um, and I like that. That's a, that's a good image. Um, I'm going to try just taking that same overlay and putting it against the original image. See how that looks. And that's a good look too. Um, if you just turn off the top layer, the, la the sketch layer, you can see what the original was and then see the change that it made. In this case, I like the dream smoothing mix. And so when I'm satisfied with what I want, then I can flatten the image and I've got something to work with that uh, uses the filters I like. That's the way the technique I use.